Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you another makeup tutorial. Yes, I'm trying to be on a roll and be on top of things for you. It's my day off. I am going to see The Dark Knight Rises, right? Is that what it's called? Um, with my friend Kristen in like an hour and a half. And then later tonight I'm going to see my boyfriend. So, so first I'm going to moisturize with Aloe Soothing Day Cream from The Body Shop. Um, I use it day and night. And then I'm going to apply uh, some 17 BB Blemish Balm. It's from Boots in London. Um, it's a really nice, uh, you know, foundation for those days when you don't want to wear something super heavy. Looks very natural. Um, it can leave a little bit of a greasy after feel if you don't powder it. Um, that's why I like to let it sink into my skin. But if you really buff it in and don't use too much, it looks very natural. Um, then I like to powder it down with Chanel and my Handy Buki from Bare Minerals. Uh, just so it doesn't have that sticky feel. So now it's time for bronzer because I work inside and I don't really have a tan. Um, this is Tokidoki Diavolina bronzer. I just do a lot of contouring with this. It has shimmer in it, but I don't care because it looks awesome. Um, I've been using it for like two years now, so. <laughs> but anyway, it's awesome if you have olive skin and you need a brown bronzer and you need to look like you're tan. Uh, so I kind of just make myself look how I would normally look in the summer. <laughs> that was scary. Anyway, uh, I'm going to apply Madly Blush by NARS. It's kind of like a rosy dusty, bronzy, I don't know. So it's not hot pink, and it's kind of like how my cheeks would naturally flush if they actually did flush, uh, but they don't. Heh. <laughs> okay, now going on to a mineralized skin finish in Perfect Topping by MAC. Um, this is really nice just on the high cheekbones and on the um, brow bone and a little bit down my nose, but a little goes a long way because you know, out in the open or in your bathroom, it doesn't look like too much, but in pictures or out in the sun, oh my god, you will look like Edward Cullen. So, uh, yeah, you'll look very greasy if you apply too much and there's flash photography. Okay, prime your lids, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to be using this MAC Smoky Eye Kit, uh, Julie Verhoeven, Verhaven, I don't know, came out with MAC, um, I bought it at Nordstrom. I'm going to take this little brush it comes with, it's the 275 Special Edition, that's Naked Lunch Eyeshadow, and I'm going to pack that all over my lid, concentrating it on um, my moving lid and my inner corners, and then I'm going to blend the rest all the way up to my brow bone, so it's just a whole shimmery base for the smoky eye. Another awesome color is Wedge that comes in this kit, and I'm going to apply it with the same brush to my crease, and uh, it's not a very pigmented color, but uh, you can really build it up. Now the third color here is Carbon. It's just need a tiny bit. It's a matte black. I'm going to take the pointed edge of that uh, brush I've been using and apply that to the outer corner. And I've learned with this smoky look that uh, less is more and if you don't have enough you can always add more but it's better to do a tiny bit than too much. Because um, the perfect way to a smoky eye is just to build or else you're going to look like a raccoon. And I think raccoons are cute but I don't know if my boyfriend does. So if you've noticed, I'm blending it pretty much all the way into the inner corner just because I like that really defined crease, and I'm adding a little to the outer corner. Now I'm just taking wedge and blending that out because I don't want too much of a cut crease per se, um, but you can see I have a lot of carbon in the outer corner just because I don't want something super dramatic that just looks like a line across my crease. So just blend it out with some more wedge, apply some carbon to your outer corners if you are adventurous like that. I have really dark eyes, so I get away with it. Um, now I'm going to use this liner that came with it. It's just a black liner and smudge that across my lash line. I'm pretty much following the directions that came with the kit, which is pretty cool, but I wanted to show you all how I did it. Notice the brush hair I have on my cheek.
And I'm taking this flat liner brush and dipping it into some carbon and I'm going to pat that over the liner I just did to keep it in place and um, just give it a little more intensity. Curl lashes and apply Zoom Lash. Yay! I'm going to keep it simple on the lips with a YSL Balm. It's uh, the purple color, whatever that is. Not too much color payoff, um, but it's a nice you know, when you're going out with friends, you don't want to look too crazy. So that's a look. I hope you like it. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to do with my crazy hair. And this is what happens when you spend all your time on your makeup. Haha, <laughs> I like it messy. Yeah. <laughs>